I'm Maya, I'm a research lead at Gamble Aware, and my work means that I'm often talking to people with lived experience of gambling harms, but I am also someone who has experienced these harms myself. I was in a relationship with someone who struggled with their gambling and they felt like they had to keep this a secret and I think they felt like they had to manage it on their own. There were a lot of things that were problems but I didn't know what was causing them. So a lot of financial anxiety, we were trying to move out together but there was always a problem that was preventing that from happening um, or a reason that they couldn't afford to do that. It was very confusing for me because I knew that they were a hard worker and that they were working, you know, double shifts, um, trying to save up money for this. They hid their gambling from me for about a year um, whilst we were together. It was a big shock because I didn't see gambling maybe in the same way that people view um, people who struggle with drinking or with drugs, for example. It felt like something that maybe they should be able to manage on their own. Um, which is something that I now realise is uh, quite a common stigma that people experience. And I was also very unprepared because I didn't really know how to help and I didn't really know what help there was. At the time, I felt like I couldn't trust them and I couldn't trust myself because I didn't know what was causing all of these issues. This person was also drinking quite a lot, I think, to help them manage the problems that they were experiencing and what they were going through. It was just very difficult because they clearly felt that they couldn't speak to me or speak to those around them. I think that gambling can be seen as a very normal activity, something that you just do with friends or for fun. And when it gets to that level where it's impacting your ability to save or to move out or you know, progress in a relationship or that you feel you have to hide it from family, um, then it can be a very lonely experience. There was less understanding from like family members or friends about, um, about gambling as a whole. I think that goes to show that there's a lot of stigma around gambling and a lot of people think that they can manage it on their own or they should manage what they're experiencing on their own. But it does impact people around you as well. When I found out that my partner had been gambling, a lot of the focus was was on trying to find them support. How could we help them reduce or stop their gambling? How could we help them save more money? Um, and, you know, how could we help repair the loss of trust that we had in the relationship? And I think I was quite focused on all of those things that it wasn't until much later that I was realizing that it did have a really big impact on me. It was really good to talk to my friends because a lot of them knew, well, most of them knew my partner at the time. It was very helpful for me because I was quite angry at that person, but I also still loved that person. Speaking to people that knew him as a person um, and who weren't blaming him for the things that he was experiencing, but also were able to kind of um, affirm what I was saying and like the emotions that I was feeling, it was a good balance. And I know that not everyone has people that they feel they can confide in to that level. So that was, I felt very lucky to have close friends who could um, help me work through what I was going through as well. Through my work, I've been able to talk to other people that have lived experience of gambling harms. Um, so other family or, or friends or people who were indirectly impacted, like myself. Um, and that's been really eye-opening um, because at the time when I was in this relationship and and watching this person struggle and struggling myself, you felt very alone and it felt very unclear about who you could talk to or what support would be available. It did have a big impact on my ability to trust people and, and trust myself. You know, if you have a sense that there's something wrong but you're being told that, oh, it's okay, you know, I've just missed a paycheck here or something like this, then that's quite hard to rebuild and and so it definitely took a lot of time to recognise that that was that whole experience and that, that whole relationship towards the end um, did have an impact on myself as well. And I think that was also evident when I started working here at Gamble Aware because when I started working I didn't, I didn't really understand that as a charity we're not just supporting people who gamble, 
that there was a lot of interest in supporting people who are also impacted, you know, family, friend or a partner like, like I was, um, which was a really new thing. And I think, again, just shows that it, it's taken quite a lot of time to get to that point where um, I understand that the impact that gambling can have can be really far reaching. There was a day where we had people with lived experience come in to, to share what they had gone through. And one of those people was a woman who whose family member had, had gambled. And that was a really powerful thing for me to hear because up until that point, I still think I had been focusing um, on gambling as an issue that only impacts those who gamble and not necessarily the partners or friends or family members. I think it just goes to show it took a long time to get to that point. Even when I started working, it took hearing someone else to share their experience to make me think, oh, okay, this is something that I've also gone through as well. So doing this work has been really good for me personally as well, um, because it, it's very validating of of the experiences that I had. And it makes me understand a lot more clearly what that person that I was dating was going through at the time. I wish I had known at the time that everything that I was going through was also a valid experience. Um, and even if you think that it's not a big deal, you know, if you're feeling hurt or angry, um, I would say that there are people that can help and that can support you. And I would say to, to speak up about what you're experiencing as well and to, to get that support that you need.